our carbon atom became part of the retina of one of the world's greatest scientists. This was just a few years after the discovery of x-rays. Marie Curie and her husband and research partner, Pierre, wanted to know how a piece of matter could make it possible to see through skin and even walls. The knowledge that there were rare places in the world where rocks rich in uranium possess these strange properties inspired Marie on her scientific quest. The dull brown ore, still mixed with pine needles, came from the part of Eastern Europe that is now the Czech Republic. But this material was very rare, and even to distill a tiny amount of it required the most lengthy and labor-intensive efforts. She was later to write, we lived in our single occupation, as in a dream. They worked under the worst possible conditions to purify the ore into a mineral called pitch blend, which was 50 to 80% uranium. This was quite an achievement, but Marie and Pierre were hunting for something far more rare. It took them three years to process tons of ore to isolate a mere tenth of a gram of a substance she named radium. Marie and Pierre had discovered a completely new element. The Curies showed that the radium was entirely unaffected by extreme temperatures. That was strange. Most things subjected to such intense heat would change drastically. And there was something else. It spontaneously emitted energy, not through chemical reactions, but through some unknown mechanism. Marie Curie called this new phenomenon radioactivity. She and Pierre calculated the energy that spontaneously flowed from a lump of radium would be much greater than burning the same amount of coal. Radioactivity, to their astonishment, was millions of times more potent than chemical energy. The difference between liberating the energy that resides in molecules and the far greater power stored deeper down. Between Marie, Pierre, little Irene, and the man she would later marry, the family would win five Nobel Prizes in science. The bottles, tubes, and flasks of pitch blend that they had refined left a residue of radium particles. They were so potent that they lit up the lab at night. As Marie wrote years later, they were like earthly stars, these glowing tubes in that poor rough shack. Marie leapt to the correct conclusion that the luminescence was due to something happening inside the nuclei of radioactive atoms. For thousands of years, it had been thought that atoms were the smallest unit of matter. Curie's earthly stars were evidence that within the atom was a possible world where even smaller particles were interacting. 100 years after this magical night, Marie Curie's cookbooks still glowed with the exquisite radioactivity she had discovered. <laughs>